So here we are, I'm in my workshop and I'm trying to machine some wheels for the unsung machine. This is the play wheel and this is the record wheel. Something's gone wrong unfortunately, this is double sided CNC machining and the way it should work is you create some holes in the stock material that you can then flip, it allows you to flip the piece, use some dowels to line it back up and then when you machine the other side it should be perfectly centred in theory. Something's gone wrong, it's some kind of glitch with the machine, probably not the machine actually, it's probably a glitch with me, uh, and for whatever reason this centre hole isn't centred. That's a big problem because the wheel now wobbles because it's not spinning on a centre axis, it's spinning on an offset centre axis, so it's very visible and I can't get away with it. So what I have to do is use one of these little bits here that you can create dowels with. So I can just drill that into some stock material, some waste. I can then subtly change the microphone and hope that nobody notices, push out the little homemade walnut dowels, fill the hole with wood glue and insert the dowels. I don't need to worry about any excess that's sticking out. I'll just chisel that away later once I've left it to dry and then I'll sand it flush. I should add that the reason I'm going to all this bother is because these are the last pieces of walnut that I have in stock. So I have a plan for recovery and that plan is to create a jig out of a piece of plywood, machine a hole that this can fit snugly into, can then clamp it down, I can redrill my centre hole and then while I'm at it I'm going to machine out a little recess for this washer which is part of this thrust bearing um, which should just give it a nice steady spin and make the whole thing sound nice and feel nice. So let's see if we can do it. Okay, success. We've now got a perfectly centered center hole and we've got a dished washer that's been recessed into the walnut. So we can put our thrust bearing in place and we can try and find the hole here. There we go. And that's it. I toyed with the idea of using an opaque acrylic to give the machine a kind of mother of pearl inlay look, but you could tell right away that it wasn't going to be very high impact visually, so I ditched that idea, and it was time to break out the resin and pigment. <laughs> Thank you. 
So get this, it turns out there was glitch with neither man nor machine. A, a couple of the V wheels had worn down and it meant the CNC machine wasn't able to accurately locate zero as it was skipping steps. Here's some healthy V wheels for comparison. So I've told this story backwards, but I suppose in some ways that's how you have to approach double-sided machining. <laughs> 